Dr. Talk is Associate Professor of Neurosurgery at Mayo Clinic in Florida. Uh, he's going to talk about a special interest of his, Moya Moya disease, and indications for cerebrovascular bypass surgery. Great. Uh, thanks, Ben, again, uh, for the opportunity. So Moya Moya is another disease where it's an orphan disease, and uh, we need a lot to understand how to manage it correctly. So wh where does the word come from? Moya Moya in Japanese meat means puff of smoke. Th this is a common story for our population. 28-year-old pilot has headaches, um, gets investigated by local neurology, receives an MRI, and as we see, the arrow indicates some occlusive disease. So uh, th with this patient, what we end up doing, we were able to find an MRI on the patient from 1996. And when we retrieved that MRI, there was enough evidence on it that this was something very early in his life. For four years, I've been following him now. Not a single event on aspirin, and his headaches are managed. So, so nothing needs to be done for that patient. This is the opposite. 46-year-old woman comes with ICH, two weeks of headaches, hypertension. Her mom died of brain clots. Sister died of brain aneurysm at the age of 30. So we do the imaging on her. So this is the, this is the CAT scan on her. So if you look on the right side right there, there is a hemorrhage, and the hemorrhage is surrounded by edema. Typical differential for this kind of bleed is the venous hemorrhage. So we did the workup. This is her MRI. Uh, nothing really shows up, no tumor. So this is her angiogram. Uh, it's showing us that her carotid on the right side is compromised. It goes to a thread. Her external is filling. Now, the internal here is filling to the ophthalmic artery. We see the shadow of the uh, intraocular muscles, and the carotid ends into the ophthalmic artery. So this is her run. When we do the angiogram, we see the external branches looking fine on the right side. This is the left side. We see that the contrast is crossing to the other side, and we see a puff of smoke on the right side. So that's a very typical picture. Delayed angiogram shows how the contrast flows. So she's feeding from collaterals to compensate for the carotid occlusion. Um, so this is her vertebral artery injection. So here we see the Diamox study. We're, giving, we're looking at the brain perfusion. So on the top, we're seeing the brain blood flow, blood volume, mean time, mean transit time, and we give Diamox for patients. Just like the stress test for the heart, percentine, it creates vasodilatation, so all these va brain vessels are supposed to dilate. So if you have a territory that's fragile, has not enough blood supply, no good reserve, 